Welcome to a joke. It's a beautiful book on the web. A joke a day. And then another one. A story a day. And then another one. Fuck it all soon. And then bullshit. These are books written from the Garden of Osho. And it's the touch by all of us. We are in the same garden. Pick this and this. A thorn here and this, that, and the flowers here and the colors and this. Books that are forbidden. They are not in any school, any university, any church or a temple. Because truth is very the only danger. This is why we have no risk. Take the risk. Jump in the ocean. If you think you don't jump, jump. Don't worry. You are dead anyway. But when you jump, then you know. Existence will help you to swim. Let go and you swim. One time, a little boy in a big pool and so many people at that rainy day, you know, they cannot go there, they die. So they went and they said, okay, let's take the corpse. And he was happy. How did you do this? He said, I just let go. I don't know when the wave is down. I go down when the wave is up. I just was dancing with ups and downs. That's the life. That's the wave in the light and the wave in the ocean. What are you weaving now? Let go and let God. But not God that's up. The godliness inside. And life is only a joke. Go inside and, oh my God, life is only a joke. We are here to play. How to know this? You already have it, but we don't know it. Open the door. Have the book. I told you, I read only Osho. That's it. When I started reading Osho, you know, many of my friends in the macrobiotic, he's a devil. Don't you see at his eyes by knowing the little bit of oriental diagnosis? I said, if he is a devil to me, he's a divine devil. I started reading his books, you know, one book is enough, one page, one seed, one sentence. It's all, you know, my inner power is a treasure, a great uh, green tree or whatever. Every day I pick something in a joke, a, you know, juicy, dirty jokes and something like this. And Okay, one day while studying the alphabet, the teacher started, give me any word that starts with A. And Johnny, bad mouth, she didn't look at Johnny. She knows he may be saying something that has. Apple, great, Anna. Give me a word that starts with B. And big mouse, John. She didn't look at him. Maria, both. All the alphabets. Then letter R. She taught the teacher in her mind, there is nothing that bad mouth, bad word that starts with R, R, R. Okay, Johnny, what is he? Uh, he said, rats. But he stood up and he said with his finger, fucking rats. So why not? Let the boys and the girls and the kids and the bigs and the small and all people, let us express our feeling. You know what is this? Why people, they do this? It was the war, 1415, Protestants and Catholics. And the women, they started helping the men, you know, for the bow and arrows. And then what to do? They cut this. So they couldn't help anymore. They didn't have this to do fucking. So they started telling them, we fuck you with this, we fuck you with this. Yes, by killing each other, many crusaders, many wars now, jihad or all this. But in reality, we don't know the real jihad. Al jihad al akbar, akbar al jihad. To know yourself. Go in. 
in is our only I and N. And we know how to go in. Don't ask. You know the key. So it's up to you. It's your choice. You want to go in? Meditation is the only way. You don't need to ask anymore at all. A guy goes to the supermarket and notices an attractive woman waving at him. He walks over to her and she greets him. Do you know me? To which she replied, I think you are the father of one of my kids. How oh come? Me? He started with Are you Angelica? No. Are you this? No. Are you this? No. Who are you? She said, I'm a teacher. And one of my kids is your son. So it's in our mind, the reflection. So everything that comes out of you, it's like when you go to the church, confession, you know, to tell, to confess. There is no sin. The only sin to say there is a sin. There is no sin. The only adultery is if you are really in love or not with your wife, with your husband, with your lover. To lie is the only sin if there is a word sin. We do mistakes. Every day I learn from my own mistakes and your mistakes. There's no time to learn only from my own. So we share with each other our pain and our hurt. And the body is the healer. There is a being inside. That's the real healer. As I told you, I only read Osho. This is a beautiful book from medication to meditation. It's amazing, every book, anything. And he never wrote books. He spoke for like, well, I don't know how many years, thousands of books. Every day he spoke four hours, two hours in Hindu and two hours in English. And maybe as many people, they said, every 50,000 years a man comes like this, never compromised, and he said the truth. And he knew that they are going to kill him, and they, they poisoned him, and he suffered so much. But he said, it's the body that feeling this. I'm not. The body goes back from dust to dust. But he is still alive forever. You too. Me too. Me, we. Me, we, she, is it. Me, we, he, it. We are one in pain, in gain, in whatever. The same truth is one, but in different cups. So when she said, okay, don't feel, you know, your child is my student. Yes. And this is what I am here for, not to teach. Nobody can teach you the truth unless you can catch it. Nobody can teach it. So when I started reading, ah, that's it. I was hungry like a barking dog. And I was saying to myself, this is not what I want, to be a wife and have kids and marriage and husband and wife. And there's something beyond this. I'm here for something else. And everybody said, you are crazy, crazy and hazy. And when I got the book, The Best Companion, I said, okay, goodbye. And I'm still walking in my inner treasure. And the more you see, the more you know, the more you know that you don't know. It's amazing. Nobody can tell you the truth unless you are really thirsty. You become the thirst, then the thirst takes you to the river. So is the hunger. Like God has no other hands than ours. So what's, what's your being for? Nobody can know you, only you. Yes. So many jokes and so many dirty jokes that they are so beautiful. 
This is what we are here for, to have a joke a day, to have a laughter. What is the difference between a bomb and a condom? In a bomb blast, population decrease. In a condom blast, population increase. Yes. It's amazing, we are so blessed to have books like this. It's good to have, it, you know, all these jokes that you can share. Jaime Goldberg is trying to hold a small mirror in his hand while he adjusts his tie. The mirror slips and shatters on the ground. Oh no, he complains to Becky. Now I'm going to have seven years bad luck. Nonsense, replies Becky. My uncle Solly once broke a mirror and he didn't have seven years bad luck. Really? Says I mean encouraged. Yes, really, prepares. He died the same day. Every joke's about, you know, marriage and in laws and all this, you know. We all know it and we know it's a joke. We know that what's going on. We still go to a wedding. The husband said to the wife, I bought three tickets for the movie. We want, I want to have, you know, fun or peace or whatever, joy. Why three? He said, one to you, one to your mom and dad. Go out. He wants to be alone in his aloneness, you know, all the time nagging and nagging and nagging. He said, please, all day nagging. One day you can nag, the other day he said, okay. She started nagging all day and the next day she started saying, tomorrow I'm nagging, tomorrow I'm nagging. The woman has an energy that's up. The man is young, the woman is young, so she talks all the time. But the man wants to be alone. But both of them in the same shit, you know, different smell, but the same shit. We are not aware of who we are, we are not aware of why we are here. Yes. Grandpa, you know, was celebrating his 100th birthday and everybody complimented him. He said, how can you do this? 100 years old and you are still running. What's going on? I will tell you the secret of my success, he happily said. My wife and I were married 70 years ago. On our wedding night, we made a pledge. Whenever we had a fight, the one who was proved wrong, would go outside and take a walk. And he said, gentlemen, I have been walking in the open air day after day for 70 years now. He's always wrong, she's always right. And this fight is going on in marriage between men and women, kids, everybody. And it's a joke and you are still fighting. And the fight goes on and on, on to a war. War at home and war in the countries and the nations. Why war? Use your arms now and give each other a warm hug, not bug. 